everybody. It's Tasty Tuesday again. So welcome to my kitchen. And today I'm taking you to Korea. Wonderful Korea. I think Korea is a country that a lot of people don't think about visiting, which is too bad because not only is it very interesting historically and culturally, but their food is amazing. And I didn't really know what to expect with Korean food, but I discovered a really wonderful cuisine, not as spicy as Thai cuisine, not as uh, intricate as Japanese cuisine. And today I'm gonna to share with you bulgogi, which is possibly considered the most popular Korean dish. Um, bulgogi is usually served, it's a beef dish, it's usually served just with rice, but it's kind of become cultish to take bulgogi and do bulgogi tacos and bulgogi pizza and bulgogi pasta. So you'll see bulgogi used in lots of different ways. I'm not even sure what the exact translation of the word bulgogi is, but it really is just a marinated meat, which I'm gonna show you how to do today. So, first of all, I've already prepped our ingredients and we're gonna start with our marinade. So we have 3 fourths cup water, we have four tablespoons of soy sauce, and we have four tablespoons of pineapple sauce, excuse me, pineapple juice. We have two tablespoons of sesame oil, one of my favorite ingredients. Mmm, smells so nice. Korean food uses a lot of sesame oil and a lot of fish sauce, although this recipe doesn't use fish sauce. Then we have two teaspoons of sugar. This is white granulated sugar, but you could also use brown sugar. And next we have two teaspoons of sesame seeds. Our next ingredient is two teaspoons of garlic. And finally, a half a teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. So simple, just that. Next, we are putting in our 300 grams of thinly sliced sirloin. Um, so this is a little, um, little under a pound. So in goes all of this beautifully thin sliced meat. And we have half of an onion. We have one whole carrot, which has been thinly sliced. The onion has also been sliced. We have a leek one whole leek, and we have six to eight shiitake mushrooms, which I have dried already in the house, and so I just hydrated them, but you could use fresh. That marinade smells really great. So I'm just gonna stir this up, and I'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes, and while that's happening, I've already got my rice cooker going, and I'm gonna heat up my wok, and I'll be back to show you what's next. Our meat and veg has been marinating for about 15 minutes. You don't really have to marinate it that long, but it smells really good. And I've got my wok, actually maybe a little too hot, so I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit here. I've had this wok, I got, this was a wedding gift, and I use it quite often actually. Let's see, all right. So all of this that's been in uh, the marinade, everything marinade, veg, meat, it all goes in here. So as the bulgogi is cooking, you wanna make sure the vegetables are all getting cooked, but you also want the liquid to reduce. And so just watching it, trying to decide when you think everything is cooked and your liquid is gotten a little bit thick, that's how long you want to cook it. When it's all done, I'll show you how we plate it. Okay, our bulgogi is done and we're ready to sit down and have our dinner. We, uh, I cooked it probably for about uh, 
<coughs> maybe 15 minutes. It looks really beautiful. And I'm serving it with rice. And in most Asian countries, they would be horrified if you poured your saucy food on top of your rice. They always eat it separately. And then I have some store-bought kimchi, which is really good. It's a brand called Seoul that we can get in our local Safeway and we'll eat that all together. When I was in Seoul, as a matter of fact, I had one of the best cooking school experiences of my travels and I got to uh, cook with one of Korea's uh, most famous chefs. She owns a cooking school and it's called the Korean Cultural Cooking School. And uh, there's, that's me with her in that picture I'm showing you. And uh, that really opened my eyes to what a great experience it is to take cooking classes in the country that I'm traveling in. And Korea was one of those first countries that I did that. And bulgogi was one of the first dishes that I learned how to make. And so I'm happy I could share that with you today. So that's it for Tasty Tuesday from my kitchen. It's time for us to go eat our bulgogi. Have a good day.